In this tutorial, we will discuss or talk about two features in 3ds Max. We won't do much of the modeling, but we will use these tools as modeling tools. So as you can see here, we got uh, that word called logo, whatever you want to write. I created that using the text tool and then I engraved it inside this bar using boolean tool. These are the tools we will talk about in this tutorial. So let's create a brand new file. Let's go to home and now here from create menu I go to geometry and then let's go to standard to primitives and this is the text plus tool but I prefer working on the front view so I pick that text plus and I will put in here let's write anything inside it and here you get the uh, parameters for it you got point or plane I, I pick points so I can see it and here it gives you parameters for lengths and widths if you decide to, to have region and here is there goes your text I will write my name oh. I will use upper cases for letters and then here we can change font let's pick something cool I like comic sun mark I can't find it comic sun mark is fine but we need first to select the font we have here so I select it oops I select the font then I pick comic sun mark so I can change it I pick bold to make it bold and then here we can change the size we can make it big and we can change tracking we can change H value scale value for uh, vertical and H for horizontal okay and here is the uh, the extrusion value you don't need to use extrude modifier for this just read the value of extrusion and when we change to perspective that's what we get of extrusion I raise that up as I want let's make the extrude segments up to 2 and here we go of course you can add enter and write new words like the name of the channel the advertiser and once you write it writes with you on your viewport but I need only one word to create my boolean so I don't have too much of details let's get back to front view and let's create a standard primitive I won't use box I will use chamfer box and you can find it in extended primitive that's chamfer box let's uh, in, uh, activate the snap toggle and I will create it at this part here right click to deactivate remove snapping and get back to perspective view and because as I told you before my last setting it keeps it uh, which was the number of segments but actually I need to change it let's make the lens 40 width let's make it 100 height 100 doesn't work with with the word let's make it 120 for the height I will make it 40 and for the fillet I will make it 1 maybe we can raise the fillet and then I change the lens segments I will make it 50 for now 50 by 50 by 1 for the height I need only one for, because this is the height you see here and fillet segment I will make it 5 and I need it to be smooth if you deactivate smooth you won't get smoothness on the surface let's change the view to top view so I can push the text object 
up to the front so it it gets inside my box partially of course you can make total uh, holes if you want to make this uh, this box uh, smaller in terms of width than the the world get back to perspective view so we can start uh, the boolean press f3 so i can see and f4 so i can see segments now while i select my chamfer box i get back to extended primitive i go to compound object and i pick boolean and here it tells me boolean parameters i only have the chamfer box then i press add operand so i can pick that name so far nothing happened because the types of operands here is union i don't need to union them i need them to be subtracted so i press subtract for both of them and the one that will subtract the other should be beneath and that's what we get we get holes if we get closer that's what we get we get holes with the same shape of letters let's do it again but we will change let's press ctrl z several times and let's change the thickness of the word or the uh, the system word and same for the box let's set the extrusion value to 12 12 not 1 and then the box I'll change the height to 7 then I go to top view and push him to be in the middle just like that get back to perspective view to see what we have here okay it penetrates it now let's select system again go to compound objects and create another boolean and add operand i add this box and change both type to subtract and as you see here the the lower one is a chamfer box i need to drag him up and then change the text to subtract so the effect comes from the one beneath this time we created full hole that can go through anything can go through this these holes and that's it for this tutorial it's a simple one just to, to let you know the useful uh, tools we have such as boolean and using text in 3ds max continue with me for the next tutorial